Okay, so I think we're alive. <clears throat> so, there's not a whole lot going on in Genshin right now. And in FGO, a new event just started. So, not the, uh, the challenge quest is not available. So today, I thought it might be fun to try this game, which I have played and have beaten before. But the last time I did was a long time ago. A long, long time ago. And it is this game. And let me tell you, I remember very little of it, other than that I really, really enjoyed it. I played it with a friend of mine. We, we, this was back when internet was very primitive. And we just it worked uh, on it together or, and figured it out. I think I might have had to look up a guide online at one point, but generally it was uh, something we... All right, Jones, how are you going to find that statue and all this junk? Yeah, it was something we worked to figure out, so there is... Marcus still thinks this chest belonged to Columbus. I remember also Marcus the... still thinks this chest belonged to Columbus. Oh, it's a genuine candlestick. Um. Yeah, the I there are some puzzles the and such an Egyptian in this game force. that are incredibly convoluted and difficult. So, I do not know if I'll be able to solve this or to beat it. It's a medieval old-fashioned way. Or good imitation. But we'll try it, right? Oh wait, what? So th there are two statues. It's a stone carving of Shiva. Is that the one I'm looking for? It's some kind of funeral urn. Peculiar statue. Oh, okay. I don't remember this. Anyway, this is the cold open, I suppose. The prologue. And clearly it is not Harrison Ford, but the sound alike it doesn't seem too bad. The label says unidentified pot shirts. Unidentified pot shirts? What's a pot shirt? Looks like textiles from the Shamut collection. Hmm. A lot of adventure games like this, you just kind of want to scroll your mouse over everything to so, so that you can discover Marcus what's actually Potlatch available. Indians carved this. Looks like a movie prop to me. Keeping Looks home. dangerous. Oh. <laughs> so Indy seems to be getting really hurt here in this opening. Oh, there's someone named Anson Jew who worked on this. I don't need them. They're just textbooks. I think I've read them all. So I think this is at the university where he works. It's an old lecture hall desk. These don't look familiar. Uh oh. <laughs> Okay, how did he survive that? Uh, and John Williams, of course, provided the original theme for Indiana Jones, but looks like somebody else did the music for this game, or other people. Better get that roof checked. 
a cheap copy of a Siamese idol. There's a lot of imitations and copies here. <laughs> well, that one's not a copy, that's a real cat. Oh, I, I vaguely remember this room. I don't remember any features of it, in terms of things to interact with, to pick up. It's hot. I'll be. Here's what I've been searching for. So that's the statue. Orange statue? Why is it down here? Strange looking thing. I wonder where Marcus picked it up. Yeah, why is it in a locker in this furnace room? That's bizarre. So yeah, this must this is the university, right? Ooh. That music kinda of sounded like Zelda. I'm back. Indy? You don't look at all well, Dr. Jones. Exploring okay, German? our collections can be dangerous, Mr. Uh, what was your name again? Smith. Tell me, did you find a lock to match my key? You bet I did. I feel like this Mr. Smith might a be look. a Nazi or something. What are you waiting for? Let's open it. Why not? It's an obvious fake. You may think so, Doctor, but I believe we are opening a new chapter in history. <laughs> My word, India, a small metal bead. Jewelry, perhaps? I still think it's a fake. Then you won't mind if I take it. <laughs> yep. It's a bad guy. Right. I don't know if it's a Nazi. Stand back, gentlemen. But I hope you've got a getaway car waiting. You'll in an Indiana Jones story, I think if it's hmm. a German. What is fights? Oh. You can probably figure he's supposed to be a bad guy. But why was he looking away? He got away. Is that Marcus Brody? Oh, got his coat, Marcus. Yeah, probably. Marcus Brody is his hey, friend. What's this? Who appears in the first and third Klaus movies. Kerner, huh? I don't know if oh, he's... Lord, indeed, the man, some sort of agent from the... Okay, it was a Nazi. He is a Nazi. I don't know why, what if he's undercover, statue? why would he have an ID on him that identifies him as I such? I lied, Marcus. I don't think it's a phony. I can't place the style, but it's old. Look what else our friend was carrying. An old copy of National Archaeology. <laughs> and there you are in Iceland. Yeah, field supervisor for the Jastro expedition. My first real job. Who's the woman? Sophia Hapgood. She was my assistant. A spoiled rich kid from Boston, rebelling against her family. Boston? Nice. I think she appears in the game. I know she has she a not? female sidekick. She gave up archaeology to become a psychic. <laughs> How odd. You can say that again. Indy, Kerner found you. What if he finds her? We should warn the woman. You're right. I want to know more about that statue. I'm pretty sure that statue... You know, Marcus, the coldest year of my life was the one I spent in Iceland with Sophia. Must have been from... Atlantis. Barnett College. Oh, so he's in upstate New York? That's the location of his college. Oh. Alright, so we're in New York. What does that say? Imagine the suckers who actually pay to see Sophia's Lost World lectures. Is that what it says? Oh, it's Sophia. Madame Sophia tonight. Yes. It's today's paper. Say anything? This was taken a long while ago, when I thought we might like each other. Hmm. 
So there's the back alley. Can I use that to call her? I can't make a call. I'm out of nickels. I might have to pick up nickels somehow. Let's see. Can I just go in? The doors are locked, sir. Hello there. The show sold out, sir. Hmm. But no seats, no standing room, no exception. Damn, she's popular. Right? Anything things on the left seem pretty So, can I... So, right now I'm looking at this in... Extremely... It's really small on my screen. I'm wondering if I can make the screen bigger. I'll, I might have to figure that out for the next time I stream this. I say... Excuse me. Come back next week. Can't just go in. Must be something in the alleyway, right? I can't interact with those trash can or this. Oh, there's the back door. Anything in these boxes? It's a crate. Well, that doesn't seem to work. Push the crate? That opens up a path here. Right, no. Oh, there's a ladder. The way looks blocked. I can't. The way looks blocked. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. Can I pull the crate? I can't reach it. It's kind of hard to see what. I can't reach the it. Layout of stuff here is. Ah, now can the I? What looks like it might lead backstage. Ah, there we go. Oh hey. wow, that goes immediately. You must be the new doorman. About time <laughs> they got rid of Biff. He was such a pushover. Hmm. Do I want to interrupt her during this, or...? Call that fraud over here, will you? You're insulting a goddess, mister. Not what I like her. That to goddess be used to be a scientist. <laughs> she can talk to ghosts, you know. Who needs science? Also, let's make sure to save. A game like this, I think it's good to save early and often. Can I just go there? Wait! <laughs> you you can't go out there! Take it easy and watch the show! Here, my friends, is Atlantis. As it might have appeared in its heyday! <laughs> Glorious, prosperous, socially and technically advanced. Beyond our wildest dreams. 5,000 years ago, while everyone else still wore animal skins, the mighty spirits of Atlantis dared to build a city where knowledge and power were united in true happiness. Centuries later, the famous philosopher Plato wrote about it. He placed Atlantis on a continent out in the deep ocean. So how did Plato even and know about it? how it was divided into three circular parts, such as you see here. Isn't she something? She can go on for hours.
So I probably have to do something with the levers, huh? Excuse me. Shh. She's just coming to the exciting part. What befell the serene city? We may never know for sure. Was it the sea level slowly creeping higher, or the earth itself suddenly shifting? However it happened, panic must have gripped the citizens. On that fateful day when proud Atlantis sank beneath the waves. It kind of has or, parallels to the story of the it Tower was a volcanic of Babel. Eruption, and something remains even now. On some questions, the great spirit who guides my thoughts, the all-seeing Nurab Sal, is silent. Like, we're I've too been doing advanced. this a hundred times. The woman never stops. And they were struck down, in this case by nature rather than God. Hold on! She's still talking. Okay, he won't let me access the lever. Hey! She's still talking. Put these lights. Hold on. She's still talking. Got definitely a noticeable New York accent. Talk to her. Look at the audience. What's this? It's a. Oh, it's, this looks like a ghost. I thought it looked, it looked like a giant rabbit. So I can't really interact with much. Hold on! She's still talking. Why do I keep looking at her? Why do I keep looking at her? She looks pretty. Walk to the exit. Excuse me. Yeah, what now? You look tired. Wouldn't you like to call it a day? Nah, sooner or later I get to run the ghost out there. That's always a big moment. Uh, Alright. So, do I need Excuse to get me. him to yeah, get now? away so that I can do stuff? You know, this lecture bores me stiff. Me too, to tell you the truth. Huh. But he likes it. Here. No thanks. I read it years ago. I still got my own copy. <laughs> okay. So how come he doesn't recognize me? Excuse me. Yeah, what now? Isn't there something you'd rather be doing? Like what? Show business is my whole life. Read and hmm. Well, he said he Don't was bored, bored of this. She does rattle on, but I've got a job to do. Hmm. Excuse me. Yeah, what now? Don't you have any hobbies? Sure, I read. Well, he's already read the National Geographic. But what if I give you something to read? I might take a look. Hmm. But I'm guessing I can't give him this because I already tried. Here. No thanks. I read it years ago. I still got my own copy. Excuse me. Yeah, what now? Don't you ever read? Sure, it's a hobby of mine. What if I give you something to walk away? A bribe? Who do you think you're talking to? <laughs> so I need to find a buck or something like that to give to him, huh? Maybe I need to go back out and look. Oh, now I can go through there. Or 
Maybe I can... Would he read the phone book? I can't make a call. I'm out of nickels. I can't pick that up. Maybe I can pick up a newspaper? It's today's paper. Anything else? Oh, the ticket booth is empty? There's nobody to talk to. May I go in? They're locked. No. Taxi. Can't go that way. It's today's paper. It's today's paper. You're giving that to him? Here. Well, well, the late edition. I wonder if the Dodgers won. Watch the lights while I find out, okay? Hmm. So I, now I can probably mess with the, the age. Right? Interrupt the show. It appears to control this ghostly stage prop. It's a lever. It's a lever. Hmm. Well, let's try using... Actually, let's try using one of the other levers. Well, that doesn't seem to work. Let's put the middle lever. That doesn't seem to work. I can only use the left lever. That doesn't seem to work. Oh, why can't I use it's it? It's a lever. Do I need to push it? Oh, maybe I need to push the lever. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I don't know what the setup is supposed to be. Hmm. Does the order matter? So that one is, yeah, where it's green. But then what do I do? Can I just Hold walk on! Through? I still got my eye on you. So he won't let me walk to her. Hold on! I still got my eye on you. Huh. So I think the order doesn't matter. The sense that I get. So this is the default state. Let's try. So I've pushed. Each of the... Oh, there's a button. Oh, there's also a button. Okay. In that case, I think what I need to do is push this. Push this. And then... Push the button. There it goes. Nice. And I still feel the presence of Atlantis through... <laughs> uh... May I present Nurab Sal, the great Atlantean god of... Of... Deceit. Mm -hmm. Deceit. Thanks, Cindy. 
<laughs> Indiana Jones? You've got some nerve. Go back, you big jack-o'-lantern. Oh, great. Mm. Oh, I burnt up. I think that might be the same thing um, Marion said to Indiana Jones in the first movie. You've got some Come nerve on, mister. showing I've your got face here. To mince with you. I'd say it's about time. Oh, no! Looks like Kerner got here first. Stay put. This is probably one of the earlier games ever that, that was fully voiced. Every single line right here. that I can tell has been voiced. Nor here either. More than you can say about Genshin <laughs> and a lot of modern games. Huh. Indiana Jones didn't look that Dr. hard. Dr. Uberman, fantastic news. We found the treasure we see. The subtitle said Fritz. His name must be Fritz Uberman. Which Uber, I think, means super in German. So his, his name is literally Fritz That's Superman. That's the second time Kerner slipped away. What does a Nazi spy want with old statues? Have you seen the newspaper? Listen to this. Germans claim victory in worldwide race to smash the uranium atom. Huh. Chief scientist Dr. Hans Uberman announces oh, plans Hans. to harness new sources of energy for the Third Reich. So? Practical results are years away. Of course they are. That's why they're looking for the power of Atlantis. Be serious. I used to think you'd make a good scientist. Oh, things. Oh, she's still. Yet you stole things from my expedition. Artifacts such as archaeology has never seen. Huh. You're lucky I don't have you arrested. Oh, nice. She so what if I kept a few pieces for myself? Changed very quickly. Look for a small coppery bead under those clippings in my desk. Oh, that's very similar to what we saw in the first scene. And what she's do you know? dressed a lot like Indy. Uh... Kerner missed the grand prize. What? My necklace. Hmm. Watch closely. The bead is made of auric calcum. The mystery metal first mentioned by Plato. Oricalcum. Now I'll place it in the medallion's mouth. Oh. So we're starting with supernatural shit right that? away. Yeah, creepy. Is your electric bill paid up? <laughs> That was Nurab Sal. His spirit is close. Closer than Atlantis, that's for sure. Suppose I gave this Aura Calcum business any credence, which I don't. <laughs> that's where these beats really came from. Yeah, we, we have, have no, no idea. idea where to find your mythical lost city. Shh. I'm getting something. Narab Sal speaks. <laughs> he bids us find the... What? Oh, a book, yes. The Lost Dialogue of Plato. Lost Dialogue. Another fine myth. Very hoax. That book is a legendary hoax. What if the Nazis have already found a copy? You ever think of that? Hmm. So, yeah, this was in Iceland.
What were these pieces doing in Iceland, I wonder? Survivors must have sailed there after the great catastrophe. Any port in a storm, huh? Who's working there these days? Bjorn Heimdall, I believe. Heimdall? Maybe we I should pay him a visit. And Bjorn's also a pretty well name, too, I think. I thought you'd never ask. Alright. I'm on an adventure. And unlike Marion, she didn't need her bar to get burnt down. Oh, nice. But yeah, more of this uh, trademark Indiana Jones. It's not originally from Indiana Jones, I believe. One of the more famous works that does it with these red lines showing where they're traveling on the map. Oh, got it's my favorite it. piece of equipment. Yeah. It looks like someone's still living here. It looks like someone's still living here. Can I give this to her? Can I interact with her? Sophia. Yes? Remember this place? The Jastro Expedition. How could I forget? Cold enough for you? Even colder than my feelings towards <laughs> you, Jones. What do we do now? Let's look for Heimdall. How do we know he's still here? While I was digging up Viking gravesites, she was secretly collecting pieces from Atlantis. I can't give it to Sophia. Alright. Yeah, there's nothing here I can interact with, but I guess we need to go into the dig site. Is that Heimdall? Dr. Bjorn Heindahl. Well, let's just go talk to him. Dr. Heimdahl. Dr. Indiana Jones, I believe, and Madame Sophia Hapgood. This is my dig site now. Sophia go Hapgood. Really? Not even a hello? Not feeling very friendly today, are we? I like solitude. It helps me think. I thought you were digging up Norse graves in Denmark. I was. Obviously, now I'm not. Doctor, what do you expect to find here? The secret of Hyperborea. That's what the Greeks called Iceland, you know. You've read how they sailed north to a fog-shrouded land, and how they never set foot upon it? Ha! <laughs> After traveling thousands of miles, mere fog wouldn't turn them back. Some idiots claim they've ever tailed by ghosts. Puppycock, you know what actually stopped them, Sean? No, but I'm sure you're going to tell me. They were stopped by a force field put here by beings not of this earth. Okay, aliens. Hmm, that's fascinating, Doctor. So how is he managing a dick site by himself, anyway? I thought this thing took teams of people. Plato's Lost Dialogue. Have you oh, heard of Plato's hello, Lost Jarza, Dialogue? Hello, welcome. Yes, there are rumors about such a book, but I've yet to see it. There are two people you might want to visit. Charles huh? Sternhardt in Tikal, a shady fellow, who claims he translated the whole thing. And Philippe Costa in the Athos Islands. Okay, so a that's... Researcher, he's a farce, but he's a sharp tracer. Hmm. Yeah, this game was dope in the... Well, I didn't play it in the early 90s myself. It, I played it in like 2000 or something, about 20 years ago. And I really enjoyed it as a kid. It was hard, and I'm revisiting it now. We'll see if I can do it, because back then I played it with a friend of mine. And this was... Uh, 
you couldn't Google answers back then. We had a hell of a time. We'll see how I do now. But it's uh, bringing back memories. This game is was, yeah, really good. I remember. Last time. Completely discount. Well, he's basically invoking the supernatural when it comes to aliens. What was that about the lost dialogue? The same. Okay, nice. Yeah, I, I, I haven't played many adventure games like this, click and point adventure games, but I, this one seems to have a very good reputation. And I, like I said, I really enjoyed it back in the day. I kind of want to check out the other ones. The I, There are uh, like at least two other Indiana Jones point and click adventure games that I haven't played. I don't know if they're as good as this one, though. Why did these beings show up here? Aliens. I am convinced that these travelers came to Earth to form colonies like Atlantis, using Hyperborea as a spaceport. Alright, so he believes in aliens. To it's a perfect landing site. Between heart, Hyperborea, so and between Atlantis. Hyperborea and Atlantis. What is the Hyperborea? Fly the Astro Expedition, the one you're about to work on. Recently, I saw pieces from it, pieces that are clearly Atlantean. I see. Somebody must have been selling them. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, blame it all on me. Actually, is what there more about to this? The lost dialogue? Oh, he's probably just going to repeat the same. Dr. Sternhardt and Costa. Yeah, these names. Sternhardt and Costa. So you completely discount the supernatural? Completely. If it's supernatural, you want. Dr. Sternhardt and Costa. Well, I guess that's the lead that he's giving Where us. Where did you say those pieces come from? If it's artifacts of Atlantis, you want. Dr. Sternhardt and Costa. Okay, so that's all he's uh, going to give us at this point. So long. Good luck, fellow believer. Hmm. Yeah, when I was a kid, that didn't really occur to me, but I, at least I don't think so. It's, I can't really remember. But it is odd that there's only one guy here just doing this expedition, this archaeological expedition. You would think that this takes Listen. a lot of people. What's on your mind? It's also dangerous if he gets hurt. <laughs> got frostbite I think the good the... doctor's got frostbite of the brain. I'll say, spaceman, my eye. Well, she's the one who believes in Atlantis. Of course, it turns out Atlantis Sophia. is real. Let's in push game. forward. And in the world of Indiana Jones, I wonder if this can fit into the canon of the movies at all, or it just doesn't work out in terms of the timing. Because this happens during time of Nazi Germany, like much of Indiana Jones, but I don't know if it's during the war. Actually, when does... Is it the 30s or 40s when the movies take place? I don't Let's head for the airport. Because obviously Nazis are a thing during the movies. Ah, so these are the two places we can go to, or there's three, but we don't need to go back to New York City. Wow, I didn't remember that you can actually just choose where to go. Neat. <laughs> yeah, we got a water-based uh, uh, plane. This town looks very European to me, rather than... Well, actually, where is it? This is his house? It's like... This is it. Atlantic. Mr. Costa? This better be important. Be careful, Indy. Humor him. Trust me. This was back it's in the day when you might just go up to... Effect, I don't want it. <laughs> Go to visit somebody and hope that they're home instead of calling them. 
We didn't have FaceTime or the internet back then. Plato's Lost Dialogue, Atlantis. I hear you know something about Plato's Lost Dialogue. Maybe so, maybe no. Who are you? I'm a fellow believer. Is that right? Do you know where Atlantis is? Actually, I'm trying to find out. Hmm. Come closer, boy, and I'll tell you. Oh, no, You're you standing on it. You're kidding. No one believes me. That hurts. <laughs> Huh? Nice going, Indy. I could have done better. Well, maybe she sh you should. Yeah, sure. Why didn't you... Why didn't you Sophia? talk to him? Yes? How'd we get mixed up with this screwball? The screwball in Iceland, remember? Here, you talk to the man. My pleasure. Yeah, you should have done that... At at first. My necklace. Oh, now I can control her. Nice. Okay, I didn't remember that we actually control her as well. Also, this looks like a, just an open area. How come I can't go in? Mr. Costa! This better be important. He's a touchy old bird. Watch and learn, Dr. Jones. Well, hello, beautiful. <laughs> All right, that's a good start. Professor Costa, my name is Sophia Hapgood. Madam Sophia, a renowned psychic? I hope my friend didn't pester you too much. He's a friend of yours? Well, no, he didn't pester me that much. Okay, yeah, let's Actually, make fun of him. That could help us build rapport. Sophia. <laughs> see? Hmm, I see. <laughs> what can you tell us about Plato's Lost Dialogue? What do you want to know? Alright, he's just giving us everything, huh? Because it's a pretty woman. Very realistic, I'll, I'll at least say that. Do you know what's in it? Nope. Do you have it? Nope. Okay, so I guess he can't Can really help us with me? that. Not exactly. Have you read it? Sorry. Do you know where we could find it? Well now, that depends. I might trade the information for a rare Atlantean artifact, such as a certain necklace I've heard about. Hmm. I'll never trade away my necklace. Well then, if that's how you feel, surprise me. Would you do business with my friend here? Madam, I'll do business with anyone. Thanks for your help. Goodbye for now. At your command, madam. All right, so... Don't be a stranger now. So we at least warmed him up. Man. For trade, him. huh? If not your necklace, then what, I wonder? We might need to collect some artifact, maybe. To... Listen. Trade to him, maybe. Yes? I think you better take over. Okay, I'll think of something. Can I give him the National Geographic? Mr. Costa? You again? What do you want? You have a bathroom in there I can use? Yes and no. Now go away. <laughs> I don't want to hear a word. I do remember there were some pretty good comedic lines in this Mr. game. Costa? You again? What do you want? Hope I can... There's one I remember. I hope I can trigger it at some point. Let's talk about a trade. 
Okay, what you got? <laughs> rare archaeology I'm magazine. Rare archaeology magazine. That magazine rejects all my articles. You keep it. <laughs> got anything else? I'm offering this genuine American-made bullwhip. Not a chance. What good is a whip in this day and age? Come back when you've got something worth my while. All right, we probably have to go find some sort of a word. some sort of artifact in a different place. Let's try going to the other. Come on, other let's destination go. down in Central America. It looked like. So the Azores. I don't actually. I'm not familiar with this place. I didn't know there was some sort of island. It looks Spanish to some extent, or Mediterranean, almost Italian. The buildings and such. So yeah, Tikal seems to be in Mexico or a nearby country in Central America. I vaguely remember going to the jungle. Whoa, what's that? I use the whip on the jungle route. Oh, I actually kind of remember that. I didn't know that was how you solved the puzzle, but you know, I do remember. I do remember doing that to solve the puzzle. <laughs> uh, poor little rodent, huh? Oh, so wait, you get lost here. You go into one slot and you come out another. It's my favorite piece of equipment. I can't talk to that bird from here. I use the whip with the pair? Oh, I don't think that'll work. Okay. How come? What about wow, Sophia? Some bridge. Hi, Indy. How did she get here? Hello. How did you get over here? While you were off bushwhacking, I found a path. What do we do now? We better find Sternhard. See, can we talk to the parrot? Echo. Echo. Hmm. Can we get some information out of this? Hullabaloo. I'm pile of poo. Polly want a cracker? Polly want a cracker? Me and you. I'm pile of poo. Tyler. Who's Tyler? Caribou. I'm pile of poo. Oh, yeah, he just keeps saying and Tyler too for these. Bye bye, Birdie. Bye bye, Birdie. Oh. All right, that's pretty cute. A monument to the genius of the Mayans. Mayans, okay. That's what that's it. Just a minute. That's my shop. Is this the guy we're looking for? Can I help you with something? Postcard? Replicas of the temple? Souvenir mugs? Uh, no thanks, Mr. Charles Sternhard, PhD, independent okay, thinker, researcher, and merchant. I'm hoping to find some evidence of Atlantis here. Evidence is easy. You're surrounded by it. Proof? Now that's hard. What does that mean? How how is this evidence that of mean it? We came to the wrong place. I pretty much lost hope myself. But old legends and rumors die hard. What kind of rumors? Local legend has it that the temple was built by men who are not men. Men who are not men. 
What are men who are not men? Who knows? I've heard everything from giant men with snakes for tails to giant snakes with men for heads. <laughs> you actually believe Atlanteans lived here? After the city sank, this is where they came, I'm sure. Oh, so this is where they immigrated to? Well, what can you tell us about Plato's lost dialogue? I'm the one who translated it, I can tell you that. Whoa, I'm so he knows about it. I'm steal my last copy, but someone called Mr. Smith beat you to it. Oh, we got the German dude, the Nazi. Oh, no! A step ahead of me. What can you tell us about Mr. Smith? He showed up last week, a tall man with a German accent and a pistol. He could have taken all my souvenirs, but he only wanted the lost dialogue. What can you tell us about the temple? Rumors have it that the temple was built by survivors of Atlantis. Why? Can we take a look inside? Why wouldn't How it be I built by the locals here? I only show the temple to reputable scholars. Well, I'm Dr. Indiana Jones. Yeah. I'm Dr. Indiana Jones. Is that scholarly enough? Indiana. I'm an archaeologist. Sounds like the name of one of your states. Or, or possibly a cat. <laughs> Actually, it was the name of a dog. <laughs> Sophia! I'd really like to explore the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. Hmm. Lost dialogue? So the Pleiades is a... Huh. I wonder if the... The parrot knows, but the Pleiades is the name of a um, constellation. It, it's the sisters, the sisters of uh, they're they're some sort of demigods. Persepolis is, I think, a Arabian term. Is polis or no? Polis would mean it's Greek. It's and obviously Gluteus Maximus is the muscle. The Persepolis. Persepolis. Too bad, old bloke. That's not the answer. Okay. We check out the path. Oh wait, what? <laughs> it brings us back around here. Okay. Can we pick up this kerosene lamp? Well, now, let me guess. Hey. Yes. You and the little woman decided to take home that special mug, eh? Um, no thanks. Then what can I do for you? I'd really like to explore the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. Okay, so none of these are correct. I guess you have to actually have found it through some other thing in the game, but yeah, Tetrahedron is uh, the name of a three-dimensional shape. I don't know the title. So I feel like maybe you're not I, can, I can feed something to the... Maybe I can feed something to the... To the bird. Sophia? Yes? What do we do now? We could talk to Sternhardt again, or we could move on. Hmm. It's my favorite piece of equipment. So, and I can't whip the bird. I can't whip Sophia. I can't reach it. And... Stop! I can't go into Begging the... Begging your pardon, you can't go in there. Temple. The temple isn't safe. No thanks, I don't want it. Okay, the game won't let me whip people. Well now, <laughs> let me guess. 
You simply must possess a genuine Tikal floaty pen. Um, no thanks. Then what can I do for you? I'd really like to explore the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. Yeah, these are all wrong. The Pleiades. Pleiades. Yeah, Pleiades. Pleiades. Too bad, old bloke. That's not the answer. Okay, let's see if we can get a hint somewhere else. The jungle. I'm guessing there's nothing here where I can get a get some sort of hint. Yeah, this is a pretty basic puzzle. Yeah, let's try flying somewhere else then. Maybe we can find... Uh, I don't know, some other piece of the puzzle? I wonder if Dr. Heimdall might know. Let's find the airport. What about New York? If we go back to New York, is there anything we can find? Oh, maybe at the university? What are we doing here? What a campus. And you could have been teaching here. Sure. Teaching people with minds like razors. Sharp and narrow. <laughs> what do we do now? Let's bid farewell to this ivory tower. Alright, based on what she's saying, I'm, it seems that there's probably not anything here. But... Uh, Aren't you coming? I'll just wait by the car. I can't reach it. Let's look at the bulletin board. See if there's anything. It says, Where have you gone, Joe DiMaggio? Okay. It says, It's from an old song. We'll trade K&E slide rule for FADA radio. The stairway is closed for repairs. I go down the stairs? Oh, this is here where the game began. It's hot. It's very hot. I don't want to incinerate that. It's a greasy old towel. I... That'll just make a mess. Yeah. Okay, I don't think there's anything to do here. But I'm kind of curious if... Can I... It's hot enough already. Okay, I can't make it hotter that way. Or... Here, let's see. I need to get in more of a habit of saving very often. Is there anything on this side? No. Okay, I don't think there's anything here at the university. Let's try going back to Heimdall. Maybe he has something to say. It's pretty limited in how, how much we can do. It's too bad 
uh, can we can't go into the encampment. It looks like someone's still living here. I can't move it. Can't give anything to Sophia. Can we get a hint about the name of the lost dialogue? Dr. Heimdall. You again. Must you buy your me? What was that about the lost dialogue? Talk to Sternhart and Costa. What is this thing you're working on? The bronze eel here? Oh, uh, it's a, probably a homing beacon for wayward spaceships. Bronze eel. Soon I'll have it out of the ice. What is this eel artifact again? I already told you. It's a, a, an Atlantean foot warmer. I think. Okay, he seems to be making this up as he goes along. That's the sense that I get. On. Good luck, fellow believer. Maybe I can give Can I give this to I can't give um What about dirty rag? No. Hey okay, look it's at an this eel figurine trapped in ice. Can I use any of this? I don't think that'll work. That'll just make a mess. Hmm, no, he doesn't seem to be that helpful. Let's head for the airport. That animation's fairly long. Oh, I can skip it by pressing escape. Nice. Can I... Maybe I can get some information out of him about... About the... Thing. And I, I can't interact with anything else here, right? Mr. Costa? I wonder if I you can... Again? What do you want? Yeah, get some information about that. Let's talk about a trade. You don't have anything worth trading for. Hmm. Don't start with me. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. Maybe I can have Excuse Sophia me. talk to him again? Yes. Here, talk to him again. Okay. My necklace. I'll never get away my necklace. <laughs> no. 
Mr. Costa! Why, hello! Can I flirt him? Hello yourself, cutie. I've given you all the help I can unless you have something to trade. Don't be a stranger now. What a charming old man. I don't want to hear about it. Is there something else I can trade him? Mr. Costa! Why, hello! We need your help. I've given you all the help I can unless you have something to trade. Hmm. Don't be a stranger now. He doesn't seem to want to... Interesting oh. character. Just another Atlantis adult mind. Now where can I get some sort of rare item? I wonder, can I help that guy They got the eel? And maybe I could use that to trade with him some information? Uh, maybe, maybe I can take the coal. Let's get out of here. To the kerosene lamp. It would uh, be nice if I could buy the kerosene lamp. I feel like. Probably want a cracker? If I could get a cracker, that would work, right? Fine sample of bitumen. Give that. Well, now, let me guess. You can't live without the three-inch pewter replica of the temple. I'd really like to explore the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. I don't know the title. Plato! You're no student of Atlantis, then. <laughs> That'll just make a mess. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. That'll just make a mess. Well now, let me guess. Hey! Hey! Yes? Hmm. You ran out of postcards? Thanks, we just like to look around. Why not? Give you time to decide on a proper souvenir. Well, that kerosene lamp definitely seems like the kind of thing that you'd want that is relevant somehow. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. Can I get money somewhere and buy the kerosene lamp? What if I... Is the whip with the kerosene lamp? Well now, let me guess. You want the official Tikal key ring? Um, no thanks. Then what can I do for you? Thanks. We just like to look around. As you so, wish. Uh, here's my guess. I need to somehow get the kerosene lamp, use it to get the eel out from the from Iceland, and then give the eel to the other guy who's in the uh, Atlantic Ocean, who gives us the name of the uh, of the 
Plato's secret dialogue or whatever, and then that's how we can go into the temple. That is my guess right now, but I don't know how to well get now, the kerosene lamp. Let me guess. You still haven't decided what to buy. Thanks. We just like to look around. By all means. Don't forget about my investment grade curios. No thanks, I don't want it. No thanks, I don't want it. No thanks, I don't want it. Is there anything else here that I can pick up besides the kerosene lamp? Well no. now, let me guess. You still haven't decided what to buy. Thanks, we'd just like to look around. Why not? Let's find the airport. Hmm. There's nowhere else I can go. See, can I do something? That'll just make a mess. I don't think that'll work. I can't pick that up. Is there anything else around here? And I can't, in there's nothing here I can interact with that I can see. Sophia. Yes? What do we do now? Let's find Costa and Sternhart. Let's look around. Okay. So the eel figurine is the only one, only thing here besides I'm dull. Dr. Heimdall. You again. Must you buy your me? What was that about the lost dialogue? Dr. Sternhart and Costa. What is this eel artifact again? I already told you. It's a, a, an Atlantean fish trap. Fish trap? I think. What is this eel artifact again? I already told you, it's a, a, an Atlantean radio. Radio? I think. So long. Good luck, fellow believer. That'll just make a mess. I don't think that'll work. I don't want to interfere with Dr. Heimdall. Give anything. It could be useful in the right spot. While I was digging up Viking gravesites, she was secretly collecting pieces from Atlantis. A fine sample of bitumen. It's a greasy old towel. I wonder, could I clean it? I can't move it. I don't want to interfere with Dr. Heimdall. Maybe I'm not supposed to get that somehow. At least not now. Hmm. Maybe going back to New York? It looks like someone's still living here. Is there anything I can interact with? Other than the encampment, I don't see anything.
Let's head for the airport. Okay, let's try heading to New York briefly. office store? Oh, I can go in. Oh, okay. Maybe here I can something. Nothing up here but a few broken pots. I better call a glazier. Here's a cartouche from the Well of Souls. Maybe I can pick up something? I don't need anything here. Can I go up here? I can. I can't pick that up. Can I look at? Nothing useful in here. Nothing in there? Okay. I don't think that'll work. Anything here? Huh. All right, let's check out this ice box, which I guess is what they call a refrigerator. Phew. Guess I should have cleaned it out. What's in there? There's a jar of something in here. All right, can I pick that up? I guess it's mayonnaise, Ooh. but it looks like used motor oil. Hmm, can I use... I don't think that'll work. That'll just make a mess. Okay. All right. Well, we got another item to play Here's around a buggy with. Idol. Ooh, can I pick that up? I don't need anything here. What about the thuggy ah, idol? Letters from the school principal to my dad. They all begin the same way regarding Henry. I wish that purple meteor on the top shelf would stop glowing. <laughs> Can I just take that? That seems like it'll be valuable. I really should catalog this stuff. I don't think that'll work. I don't need anything here. I don't think that'll work. Let's take a look at this. I guess it's mayonnaise, but it looks like used motor oil. Hey, where can I use that motor oil then? There's nothing useful in here. Nothing up here but a few broken pots. Can't really see anything here. I better call a glazier. Oh, the windows is still broken, huh? I don't think that'll work. 
I don't know if how much the Nothing mayonnaise will help us, pots. but it's something. Okay, maybe that's it. Is there a switch? Is there somewhere else I can go? It says, we'll trade K&E slide rule for FADA radio. The stairway is closed for repairs. Can I open it? Doesn't it? seem to open. The stairway is closed for repairs. Can I, use I don't the think loop? that'll work. I don't think that'll work. Hmm. Wait, is there a door there? Can I climb up the cold shoe? It's too slippery to walk up. I don't think that'll work. That'll just make a mess. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. Hmm, maybe I can somehow clean that up? I don't see anything special about it. I don't see anything special about it. I don't see anything special about it. Hmm. It's very hot. I, I don't want to incinerate that. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. I don't want to incinerate that. Hot enough already. That'll just make a mess. That'll just make a mess. While I was digging up Viking gravesite, she was secretly collecting pieces from Atlantis. I don't think that'll work. It's too slippery to walk up. While I was digging up Viking gravesite, I don't think that'll work. 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 I wonder, can I give the jar of mayonnaise to the parrot, maybe? But at least we... At least we got a jar of mayonnaise. <laughs> I just don't know what to do with it. Huh. Oh boy. But this is the uh, old Lucas Arts uh, adventure game for you, right? Move something big. Oh, all right. That's an interesting hint. Sophia. Yeah. Think about that. What do we do now? Let's bid farewell to this ivory tower. But she doesn't want us to stay here. I I feel like they use Sophia as a bit of um. A hint mechanism. So I'm gonna try to mostly follow her, but let's see. And I don't remember what what the deal is with the parrot. Polly want a cracker? If I could get a cracker, that might Polly be helpful. Want a Hmm. I can't use the whip with the carrot. I can't reach it. Can I use the jar of mayonnaise with the kerosene lamp? Well now. No, this guy doesn't. Let me want... guess. Hmm. You still haven't decided what to buy. I'd really like to explore the temple. 
Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. Yeah, none of these are right. Pretty sure about that. The tetrahedron. It's a three-dimensional shape. Too bad, old bloke. That's not the answer. Hmm. And I don't think I'm missing anything that I can explore. I don't think that'll work. I can't move it. Well, it's now, just gonna trigger that guy coming. Guess. Hmm. Hey. Yes. You still haven't decided what to buy. Yeah, this is uh, still fairly early on. This is like the second actual kind of puzzle of the game. But, yeah, I fi figured I need the lantern or the lamp for something. Thanks, we just like to look around. Not by sure how, means. but my initial thinking was I, I'm gonna need the lamp to, like, melt the eel and then give the eel to the other guy and trade it. And then use, by trading it with him, I can get the, I can get the name of the lost lost dialogue of Plato. I don't think there's anything here. I think you just need to pass through it once. Just been... But that's my initial intuition. But I'm not sure. <laughs> we'll see. Let's find the airport. I'm going to try visiting the old guy again. And I wish there was something else. It would be neat if I could, like, use the whip to go into this window here. Is there anything else around here I can explore? No, there's nothing. There's the car. And there's the door, And but I don't think there's anything else here that I can interact with. Can I give the mayonnaise to this guy? I don't think that'll work. Mr. Costa? You again? What do you want? I hear you know something about Atlantis. Pa! Wouldn't tell you if I did. <laughs> Come on. So you say, ha! Okay, that voice I don't line hear a word. didn't get fully played. Mr. Costa? You again? What do you want? Let's talk about Is there about anything trading. I can trade with them? You don't have anything worth no. trading for. I don't want to hear a word. Listen. Yes? What do we do now? Let's move on. Okay, that seems to be her hint, but let me see. I, I want to see if she can... Yes? Let's remind ourselves what she can yeah, actually say. Okay. My necklace. Sophia? Oh. I'll have to try that. Mr. Costa. I, that probably never would have occurred to me. Why, hello. Hello again, Professor. I've given you all the help I can unless you have something to trade. Yeah, this guy is definitely gated by a trade Don't be item. A stranger now. He's a sweet old guy. I don't want to hear about it. All right, let's try going back to the. Let's get out of here. Back to Central America. I forget what type was it. The Mayan temple? I think it was Mayan. I honestly don't have a good sense of what these names of these old 
Central South American civilizations were Inca, Mayan, Aztec. Yeah. Excuse me. Yes? Yeah. How come it didn't occur to me to now? talk to her? We could talk to Sternhardt again, or we could move on. So she seems to want us to talk to Sternhardt. Stop! I'm begging your pardon. You can't go in there. The temple isn't safe. Excuse me. Yes? What do we do now? We could talk to Sternhardt again, or we could move on. Hmm. So I can't seem to Listen. act as... Yes? Sophia here. Let's look around. Okay. Well now, let me guess. You still haven't decided what to buy. Hmm. I'd really like to explore the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. Pick up. I don't know the Let title. Let me try that, yeah. I thought I already tried a picking it up. Obviously, you're not serious about this. Right. But I feel like every time I try to interact with the kerosene lamp, he just appears, yeah. Sorry, old chum. That lamp's a part of my shop. Oh, no, he it's something a little different. Oh, <laughs> okay. Sorry, old chum. That lamp's a part of my shop. I can't let you have that. I see. So, yeah, this is slightly different now. Excuse me. Yes? What do we do now? We could talk to Sternhardt again, or we could move on. Hmm. Hey. Yes? Listen. Have I found the lost yeah. dialogue? No, I have not. That's... That's, uh... I don't know the name. Thanks. We just like to look around. As you wish. But th this is different. Trying to pick up the land... Kerosene lamp. Well, now. Let me guess. I've, that's the first step. Oh. You hmm. still haven't decided what to buy. Thanks. We just like to look around. Oh, it's hidden there. By all means. Okay, that means I've, I'm gonna have to figure out how to walk up the chutes, and I don't remember how. Title? Hermocrates. A friend of Socrates. Hermocrates. Is that the title? Listen. Yes. Does that work? About exploring the temple. <laughs> Tell me the name of the lost dialogue huh. Okay, so that works. Interesting. I do know that this game has multiple different ways of solving the same puzzle. The it was kind of... They advertised it That's as involving, it. like... What is it? Well, now, Puzzle solving and seem to know what you're doing. attacking way, and other stuff. I don't remember how I, I solved this guy, in, at the beginning. I know what you mean. Come but on. Okay, so that's how. Well, one Here way we anyway. Interesting. Huh. I didn't even notice that the bottom option there was title. It must have changed at one point, because initially the bottom option was just to quit. Okay, we got into the temple. Looks like it could use a nose. <laughs> it's a greasy old towel. Well, that doesn't work. So what does Sternhard Listen. have to say? Yes. So you've never found anything here? No, I'm stumped. 
we're saving these old scum games sometimes. Oh yeah. Well, I don't. This is a um a Steam. I bought this off Steam for like two bucks or something. I don't know how dependable it is, but I should definitely remember to save often anyway, because it's important to save anyway. Yes. What was the purpose of this chamber? You have me there. Some sort of crypt? Yeah, I don't know what uh, technology they use. It, 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 well, I wouldn't there. be surprised if you, they use some sort of yes. emulator for using Scum VM. Don't you have to keep an eye on your store? Oh, I'm sure it's safe. I'd much rather keep an eye on you. <laughs> and of course, these games uh, precede autosave in as being a standard in video games for a long time. Is this the one where maybe spiral design? I don't think that'll work. Oh, let's take a Engraved look at the spiral symbols design. Symbols of water and life. Water and life. This one looks different, more deeply etched. Huh. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. Can I okay. talk to you, Sophia? What's up? Could you talk to Sternhardt and keep him occupied? Okay. Dr. Sternhardt, I'd like to speak to you. Hmm. I see, so maybe that's when I can pick up the lamb. Engraved symbols of water and life. Engraved symbols of water and life. There doesn't seem to be anything else here. Can I use the coal? Excuse me. That'll just make a mess. Uh -oh. Let's see what your friend is up to. Okay, so she can buy only a little bit of time. Sophia, let's talk. What's up? What do we do now? Let's keep looking. Can I talk to you, Sophia? What's up? Could you try and keep Sternhardt busy again? <sighs> again? He's such a <laughs> windbag. I've got another question for you, Doctor. Yeah, maybe I can go and pick up the lamp then, or are they going to notice? Good thing that pest Sternhardt's not around. Okay, should I go back before they notice? Excuse me, won't you? Let's see what your friend is up to. Okay, nice. That'll just make a mess. Animal head? That'll just make a mess. It's a lamp filled with kerosene. Hmm. So, you took my lamp, eh? I hope you know what you're doing. Well, he's not pissed. Okay. <laughs> well, that doesn't seem to work. Well, that doesn't seem to work. Okay. Just light it. The kerosene won't pour out. Kerosene won't pour out. It's not lit. Well, that doesn't seem to work. And I don't see anything else here I can interact with. Sophia, let's talk. What's up? What do we do now? Let's keep looking. <laughs> Looks like it could use a nose. It could use a nose. Well, that doesn't work. Can I use the kerosene? Well, that doesn't seem it? to work. That'll just make a mess. Well, that doesn't work. Can I push the... I can't move it. Head? Or pull it? I can't move it. It doesn't seem to open. Hmm. Can I open this? It doesn't seem to open. Oh, can I push it? I can't it? move it. 
Oh, wait, so there's multiple... Huh. I can't move it. So this this is a, a little special. It's an S. This one looks different, more deeply etched. Yeah. Is the kerosene? Well, it says I can't... The kerosene won't pour it out. It won't pour out. Maybe I can open... Oh, and then do it? <laughs> Look, the kerosene ate away the tarnish. Oh. Remarkable. This one looks different, more deeply etched. I don't think that'll work. It's empty. Hmm? That'll just make a mess. Well, that doesn't seem to work. It wa this washed one looks away different, something. More deep engraved symbols of water and life. I don't think that'll work. That'll just make a mess. Excuse me, Sophia. What's up? What do we do now? Let's keep looking. Hmm. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. No. That doesn't seem to work. May I push it? I can't move it. May I open it? Doesn't seem to open. Doesn't seem to close. This one looks different, more deeply etched. I already did. I don't think that'll work. Hmm. I don't think that'll work. Well, you're not helping. <laughs> but okay, is there something else here that I'm supposed to interact with? I feel like this is a door, but I can't seem to do anything with it, right? Engraved symbols of water and life. Maybe Professor. I can talk to him. There's not much more to talk about. Carry on, Dr. Jones. But yeah, it, it looks like it could use a nose. There's a door, and there's an animal head. Well, that doesn't seem to work. Can I give the kerosene lamp to him? Well done, lad! <laughs> okay, I hope that doesn't screw me over later. A fine sample of bitumen. It's a greasy old towel. I don't think that'll work. I pick something up. Now I oh, it. it's an object. Marvelous. It's an ob. Okay, I thought it was just like an engraving. Okay, so we have something here. It's a stone carving. Engraved symbols of water. Interesting. And life. Anyway, there we go. We got something. Can I use this? It fits perfectly. Oh, it's an oh, elephant it nose. Like an elephant. And then Amazing. maybe I can. Maybe I can pull the elephant nose. Yes. Look at that. Astonishing. It's a tomb of some sort. Nice. There's something glowing. Bless my soul. The tomb of an Atlantean king. Here's a small stone disc with images of land and sea engraved on it. I do believe it's a world stone. World stone? At last I have the thing. Goodbye, fellow seekers. Wait, what? Wait. <laughs> oh no, he got away. Well, there's something else here. The shiny bead. Yeah, that, that's an important Looks object. Looks like a bead of oracalcum. Oracalcum, yeah. Too bad for Sternhardt. He missed the oracalcum bead. I have one bead. Who knows? Maybe it is the tomb of an Atlantean king. I don't think that'll work. It's already open. I don't think that'll work. Anything else here? I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think that'll work. Pick something up there? I don't think that'll work. Excuse me, Sophia. What's up? What do we do now? Let's move on. Alright, that makes sense. Can I... Can 
that down, it closes it. So there's a secret door. It's almost invisible. Can we open it? It won't budge. It won't budge. All right. I'm guessing I just it can't go budge. in there. Is this where I use the mayonnaise? I don't think that'll work. Nope. Maybe use the whip. I don't think that'll work. All right. Maybe we can go to the old guy and he might be excited about the orichalcum. But I'm worried that I might need need the orichalcum. Orichalcum. The power of Atlantis. Hmm. All right. So he knows some stuff. Polly want a cracker? Polly want a cracker? All right, yeah, let's go to the old guy on in the Atlantic. Let's find the airport. Mr. Costa. Right, we got Ori Kalkum. You again? What do you want? Let's talk about a trade. Okay. What you got? I'm offering this ancient coppery bead. There it is. Bead, you say? A mere bead for the unique knowledge I possess? You'll have to do better than that. This is more than just a regular bead. Got something worth my while. Hmm. I don't so Oricalcum wasn't good enough, it seems. Can I give the Oricalcum to Sophia? Excuse me. Yes. What do we do now? Let's move on. Okay, the way she's talking, it seems, I'm guessing it, this isn't the place. Maybe... Come on, let's go. Could it be Heimdall? Let's check out Heimdall. It's uh, surprising to me there's nothing there that I can interact with. Oh, shit! Oh, no, he's dead. Or at least he's frozen. Too bad, he's frozen solid. A little too dedicated to his work, I guess. It looks like Heimdall managed to chip the eel head free. Oh, okay, well, maybe we can... I can't reach it through the ice. Huh. That'll just make a mess. Right, now the next step must be something to do with getting... I can't pick that up. Poor Heimdall. Listen. What's on your mind? Heimdall's ideas weren't that high, <laughs> I guess. What uh -huh. now? That's what not about nice. That eel figurine? Yeah, how do we get that? Oh. I don't think that'll work. No? I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. That'll just make a mess. I don't think that'll work. Okay, I feel like I need to make a fire or something to melt it work. out. Either that or some sort of... I don't think that'll work. I can't ice move pick? it. I can't reach it through the ice. It doesn't seem to open. I can't move it. I can't move it. It doesn't seem to close. I don't think that'll work. Sophia. Let's push forward. She says push. I can't move it. I can't move it. That doesn't work. 
No, I can't. Push. I can't move it. It might just be a tr the term that she's using. It might. Can't move it might it. not have to do with the actual. It might not have anything to do with the pushing things, but. Oh, exposed eel head. It looked like a bead would fit in the eel's mouth. Oh, okay, yeah. This is one of the issues with these old games, right? It, it can be perfectly. hard to tell what Whoa. you can even interact with. Look, it melted itself right out of the ice. All right, there we go. It's a bronze coil. Poor Heimdall. Okay. It's a coil, which makes me wonder if I I want to use it in the one temple. But let's let's try going to the old guy again. Like maybe airport. maybe the this is something we can trade with him. But maybe not. We'll find out. Mr. Costa? You again? What do you want? Let's talk about a trade. Okay. What you got? I'm offering this mysterious eel figurine. Now that looks interesting. You've got a deal, Mr. Oh, shit. Okay, it works. Now listen carefully. I don't know exactly where to find it, but... The Lost Dialogue of Plato is in the Dunlop Collection, got that? Dunlop Collection? I think so. The Dunlop Collection. Where is the Dunlop Collection? Very good. Nice doing business with you. The Dunlop Collection? You know something, Sophia? I believe Barnett College owns the Dunlop Collection. Okay. So we're in Germany. Dr. Uberman. Fantastic news. Uberman. Kerner, at last! See what Herr Jones has kindly provided? What on earth? Isn't it amazing? It's great that these Germans are speaking English to each other in thick you German fool. accents. You come back to show me this, this, this... Prehistoric knickknack? Herr Doctor, I believe this knickknack, as you call it, comes from the lost city. Then we have failed! I see no evidence here of the magical metal Plato called Ore Calcum! Look here, concealed in the base is a small shiny bead. Yeah, you sh he should probably analyze it a little bit more if Would he's a real scientist. Like fire! Exactly as Plato described! It's my guess we found the treasure we see. I never guess. He <laughs> must test. All right, this scientist is kind of full of himself, despite not barely doing any analysis. Oh shit! We've done it. The energy of uranium without any radioactivity. And those smug American scientists know nothing. That gives me an idea. Suppose I place the bead inside the statue's open mouth. Whoa. <laughs> oh no. You saw that? Think of trucks powered by these beads. Think of tanks. Bombs. Think of airplanes. Use your imagination, Colonel. Think big like the American. Think of yeah, exactly. Power. Guys on the right track. Man, this I don't remember the plot very much at all. I really like the personalities of these bad guys. They are goofy and they work really well for a video game. Wouldn't have worked at all if they made a film uh, of this story. So why are you dragging me in here. Hmm. Should I tell her to wait here, or...? Yeah. Wait here while I look for the Dunlop collection. Maybe she'll come with if... No thanks. 
I tell I'll her meet to... you in your office. Should probably steal something there, huh? It says, we'll trade K and E slide rule for FADA radio. I believe it's part of the old Ashkenazi collection. Uh, oh, that's a different spelling of Ashkenazi than normal. Usually it ends with an I. And that's I can't uh, move it. Jewish Ashkenazi Jews are a type of Jews. I can't pick that up. But I don't know too much about different types There's of Jews. There's nothing of importance here. There's nothing of importance here. an old lecture hall desk, complete with a wad of gum, I'll bet. I think I've read them all. I don't need them. They're just textbooks. A fine example of braided hemp. Can I climb this? I can't move it. I can't move it. There we go. Marcus thought Potlatch Indians carved this. Looks like a movie prop to me. It's from the Shamit collection. Very sh Looks like textiles from the Shamit collection. The label says unidentified pot shirts. Pot shirts? What's a pot shirt? It doesn't seem to open. It doesn't seem to open. Oh, dang. Yeah, that's right. I played this game before. I can't reach it. This is uh, but it's been a long, long work. time ago, and it is, it is fun. I am uh, I don't remember the pacing being as good as it was. It I used to take a, when I was a, a kid to the so end. much longer to solve shit. Let's see, I might. Do something. Interplay? This is by LucasArts. I don't think it's Interplay. I mean, I guess it makes sense it's by LucasArts. It's Indiana Jones. This is, uh... And I bought it off Steam for like three bucks or something. An entire Indiana Jones collection. There's two other point-and-click games, but I haven't yeah, played it. them. Maybe I can... Hold the big crate. The label says unidentified pot shirts. It doesn't seem to open. I think Interplay was the company that made some... Um, some like platforming games? Did they make... It won't go any further. I feel like they might have made... I believe it's part of the old Pierce collection. Made Duke Nukem the it's old locked. games? I can't move it. I can't pick that up. Star Trek 25th anniversary almost exactly like that? Oh yeah? 25th anniversary. Star Trek came out in the 60s, right? So 25th anniversary would place it sometime probably in the 90s or 80s that sounds right around the same era as this i think this was like 88 or something in that maybe 90 actually it could be early 90s early 90s okay it's part of the old pierce collection that didn't work hmm. so how do i open this dusty old chest work. i wonder if there's a key that I can find. It's locked. I can't pick that but up. Th these types of um, point and click adventures used to be quite popular back then for video games. And I remember I used to play some of them, but this is the only one I ever beat. That didn't do anything. There was a Day of the Tentacle, that which I played a bit of. I thought that was a kick. It's from the Shamit collection. And Very there was sharp. also... There were also the games... 
Monkey Island, which I never played, but I know those are really well regarded that didn't as do anything. good adventure games. Marcus thought Potlatch Indians carved this. Looks like a movie prop to me. That didn't do anything. I, I can't pick that up. Oh, I was able to... Okay. It's an arrowhead with a soiled rag wrapped around it. So how is that useful, though? <laughs> how is that useful to me? That's one of these things in these games. You have a bunch of items anything. that you can interact with each other, but... Often the results are that didn't do anything. Counterintuitive, and you don't quite understand what you're Marcus actually supposed to do with it. Indians carved this. Looks like a movie prop to me. That didn't do anything. Hmm. That didn't do anything. Can I use That'll this to make, make a, a fire? That didn't do anything. That didn't work. Hmm. Like it's a hole leading to the attic. I can't reach it. Can't reach. It. That didn't do anything. And I can't use the whip on the hole. I don't think that'll work. Yeah. That didn't work. Hmm, let's see, is there anything down below, maybe? I believe it's part of the old Ashkenazi collection. I can't pick that up. Wait, how come the... It's unscrewed. Oh, wait, I can use that to unscrew? Also, why is this thing keep getting lighter? The back of the bookcase is too securely fastened to open. That didn't do anything. Oh. I can't move it. Oh, I have to do them in each individual screw? It's unscrewed. Really? <laughs> oh, these old games, I love it. Uh, you can't even tell what you can interact with. It's really hard to see. It's this unscrewed. It's like really tiny. It doesn't seem to open. Another screw. Can I pick up the screw? It's screwed in too tight. Uh, where's the screw? It's unscrewed. The back of the bookcase is too oh, come securely on. Where's fastened the... to open. <laughs> okay, where's the other... Where are the other screws? Here? Uh, there? It... It's unscrewed. It barely changes, too, based on the screws unscrewing. There we There's go. There's nothing of importance here. Seriously? There's nothing of importance here? Can I... I can't pick that up. I can't move it. 
Why did I do this then? I can't move it. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. It's already open. It doesn't seem to close. Okay. Um, sure. I don't think that'll work. Nothing of importance there. I believe it's part of the old Ashkenazi collection. I can't pick that up. It's already open. Can I close it? It doesn't seem to close. I can't move it. I can't move it. I don't think that'll work. I can't pick that up. While I was digging up Viking gravesites, she was secretly collecting pieces from Atlantis. Okay. Can I use the whip there? I don't think that'll work. I think I've read them all. I don't need them. They're just textbooks. <laughs> A fine example of braided hemp. Okay. Hmm. This doesn't work with that the just the old anything. chest. I was hoping I could find a key. Is there anything here I can interact with? The rope, the gaping hole. Can I pick up the rope? Maybe I can pick up the rope and use it I can't pick to that get up. that get up. No. I can't move it. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. Can't climb that. Also, wait, do... Do the buttons... Do keyboard buttons work? I vaguely remember that there... Was... It was able to... That there was keyboard... Oh. Yeah, there are keyboard inputs. Let's... Hmm. It's a hole leading to the attic. I can't move it. It's an arrowhead with a soiled rag wrapped around it. All right, let's try going back down and going back in, like downstairs. Maybe going down here? It's too slippery to walk up. That didn't do anything. I don't think that'll work. I don't want to incinerate that. It's very hot. It's too slippery to walk up. I can't move it. That'll just make a mess. Anything else here I can interact with? Okay, these things don't have anything in them. Anything up here? Hmm. Maybe I can go talk to Sophia? Let me 
just save just in case. We've made some pretty good progress today though. Maybe uh, she can help me. Well don't just stand there. Go find Plato's lost dialogue. <laughs> I better call a glazier. Uh Well don't just stand there. Go find Plato's lost dialogue. Okay, yeah, that's all she has to say. Can I do something with the trunk? It's already open. Nothing useful in here. I can't pick that up. That didn't do anything. Well, that doesn't seem to work. Take a look at it. There's nothing useful in here. Nothing useful, okay. What about the shelf? I don't think there was anything useful. Nothing there. up here but a few broken pots. Can I pick up something? I can't pick that up. So why did Sophia follow me? Uh Well don't just stand there. Go find Plato's lost dialogue. Looks like that's all I have to do then, just find the book, but how do I do that? It says, for sale, Woodstock typewriter with floating carriage, 50 bucks. That's big money back then, 50 bucks. So we can go up the stairs, down the stairs. Anything else here? No. Let's go up the stairs. I believe it's part of the old Ashkenazi collection. I can't pick that up. So I spent all that time opening this and it's, there's nothing as far as i can tell that i can do with it what a jet there's nothing of importance here i don't need them they're just textbooks i don't need them they're just textbooks Is there anything at all here in these shelves Hmm. I can't reach it. I already have it. I would have thought he could use the whip with the hole, work. but doesn't. I don't think that'll work. I believe it's part of the old Pierce collection. I can't pick that up. The label says unidentified pot shirts. Looks like beadwork from the Phoenix collection. Can I pick up something there? I can't pick that up. So we got shelves there. I can... The label says unidentified. I can't pick that up. I can push it. To open. It doesn't seem to close. It won't come any further. But I can push it. Well, that doesn't seem to work. Can I use the arrowhead well, on That didn't do anything. Marcus thought Potlatch Indians carved this. Looks like a movie prop to me. 
Can I push it, maybe? I can't push it any further. Can I pull it? The floor isn't slippery enough. It won't oh, move. Oh, can, can I make it slippery with the jar of mayonnaise? Oh, okay. There we go. I think we're getting somewhere. Is there anything here? Marcus thought Potlatch Indians carved this. Looks like a movie prop to me. Oh, nice. Okay, there we go. Fucking finally, we figured out how to get up here. So this Poor is where Marcus. we started the he game. This was a Maasai warrior. It's some kind of funeral urn. I believe it's part of the old Pierce collection. some kind of funeral urn. I believe it's part of the old Pierce collection. Feels like there's something loose in here. A key? Oh, maybe I need the key to open that chest downstairs. It's a stone carving of Shiva. I can't move it. It's a stone carving of Shiva. I can't move it. It's a copy of an Egyptian statue of Horus. I can't move it. I can't move it. I open the chest? I can't lift the lid. Hmm. That didn't do anything. It's a genuine candlestick. Can I pick up the candlestick? It must be made out of lead. It's, it's... There. What? It's a genuine candlestick. Wait, what? It, it made, he made it sound <clears throat> like it's really heavy. I think it's fine right where it is. Huh. I can't move it. I can't move it. Gargoyle. It's a medieval gargoyle, or a good imitation. I can't move it. I can't pick that up. It's a stone carving of some kind of funeral urn. I believe it's part of the old Pierce collection. The chest is empty. Huh. Okay, the chest is empty. The chest is empty. I can't pick that up. So, wait. I used the key on the chest, right? That didn't work. It's already open. And the chest is, the empty? Chest is empty? What? Okay, how am I supposed to find this goddamn book? There's so many, like, dead ends and red herrings. Well, this is just two, but... Marcus thought Potlatch Indians carved this. Looks but like that's a movie still to me. Relatively... Like textiles from the Shamit collection. Wow. The chest is empty. They didn't get Harrison Ford. No, they certainly could not afford him, I'm sure. Marcus thought Potlatch Indians carved this. Looks like a movie prop to me. And they, uh, for the music, they at least got the... Poor Marcus. He thought this was a Maasai warrior. They got the I rights to it. the actual soundtrack, but they didn't use the original tracks from... John Williams, they used, well, they used the same theme. It's the exact same theme. It's not a peculiar, uh, peculiar, okay. It's a crude copy of a Persian idol. 
It's not a variation. I but can't move it. They had to use I can't new, move it. newly written tracks. It's a crude copy of a Persian idol. What's so? It doesn't seem to open. I don't want to disturb it any more than necessary. I can't move it. It's dusty. The dusty key. That'll just make a mess. There's the trap door. There's the gargoyle chest. Then is the chest already open? Marcus still thinks this chest belonged to Columbus. It's full of air. <laughs> I can't pick that up. There's nothing in there. What? There's so many dead ends here. It's a copy of an Egyptian statue of Horus. I can't move it. It's a crude copy of a Persian idol. It's a stone carving of Shiva. It's a genuine candlestick. Mm. I can't move it. The candlestick's I think it's very fine heavy. Right where it is. But then what? Oops, clicked out. It's dusty. It's dusty. Hmm. The label says unidentified potsherds. Please. I don't think that'll work. No. And I've already. That didn't work. The chest is empty. So the chest is completely empty. What is. I don't think that'll work. Then why did I bother. I think the hinge is sprung. Hinge is sprung. Okay, so it's stuck in an open position. I can't move it. Does that mean something? That didn't work. That didn't do anything. I can't pick that up. I can't move it. Can I push this totem pole? Okay, I can push it back. I can't pull it any further. Looks like beadwork from the Phoenix Collection. What was the name of the collection that I'm even looking for? Looks like textiles from the Shamit Collection. Alright, let's try going back down. I believe it's part of the old Ashkenazi collection. I don't need them. They're just textbooks. I think I've read them all. Oh, there's gum. Could that be? There useful? is a sticky wad of gum under here. It sure is gooey. Okay, I don't know what, if anything, that'll be useful for, but let's hold on to it. I don't think that'll work. That didn't do anything. I believe it's part of the old Ashkenazi collection. There's nothing else here. There's nothing of importance here.
Hmm. Can the gum be useful somehow? I think I'll stick this on my shoes. Oh, okay. Thanks to the gum, I can. Tr what do you know? The gum works. Climb up the coal chute. Okay, maybe it's here. I believe it's part of the old Dunlop collection. That's the collection we're looking for. Okay, there we go. So I, all that time going Another upstairs cannon. was a waste Looks of time. Right. Then I didn't need to. I believe it's part of the old Dunlop collection. Do any of that? It's made out of wax. Okay. Wax. It's much too heavy to carry. Miscellaneous antique vases. I just need to find the gum. God damn. <laughs> Miscellaneous antique vases. Miscellaneous antique vases. Miscellaneous antique vases. Either that, or they might have programmatically made it so that the last area you go get to is the one that has the Dunlop collection. These games have been known to do that, so it's Ashkenazi not beyond collection. beyond what they uh, what's possible. These aren't the books I'm looking for. Hmm. Miscellaneous antique vases. I can't pick that up. Oh, drawers. Seems to be locked. I don't think that'll work. I don't see anything special about it. Seems to be locked. Seems to be locked. Seems to be locked. Oh. That one's unlocked. I can't pick that up. They're drawers. Okay. It's already open. They're drawers. Okay, can I... Can you look at it? What's in there? They're drawers. Miscellaneous antique vases. Miscellaneous antique vases. Huh. A cat idol. But unlike the others, it's made of wax. How would that be useful? Can I melt it, maybe? It sure is gooey. I don't think that'll work. This here is pretty chill. I like it, at least. I don't think that'll work. It seems to be locked. I've already used the dust key, dusty key. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. And the key doesn't work anywhere else. I don't think that'll work. That'll just make a mess. But here, no, nothing. This is a really weird room too. Why is it connected to the furnace like this? Is that it's a book ready to fall? Can I use the whip? I don't think that'll work. It's a book ready to fall. I can't pick that up. I can't pick that up. I don't think that'll I'm not getting out that way. It's a book ready to fall. I'm not getting out that way. Seems to be locked. Miscellaneous antique vases. Miscellaneous antique vases. Okay, they're all vases. Hmm. This isn't working. It's hot. Can I melt the, the wax is melting. There's a manuscript inside. 
Oh shit, is that what I'm looking for? The Lost Dialogue of Plato. Whew, there we go, we found it. Yay. And somehow the dialogue didn't didn't get melted in the process or burnt. The Hermocrates. Now at last I have Plato's lost dialogue translated entirely. The Greek original is lost, so I've used the, the Arabic text I found in an Italian monastery years ago and, the, and always thought was a hoax. Now I wonder, could this remarkable book hold the secret to long lost Atlantis? Probably not. No one will publish it, that's certain. The fear of ridicule is too great. To be safe, I've sent a copy to Dunlop. Charles Stewart. Okay, London, 1922. So that's the guy. Hermocrates. In shame, I hereby do recant the time and place whereof Critias spoke. In rendering Egyptian into Greek, he made a tenfold error. Instead of lying 3,000 miles hence, Atlantis may well have been 30,000 miles away. Or perhaps it was less than 300 miles from our own shores. Likewise, it may be that the Lost Kingdom held sway as many as 100,000 years ago, or as few as 1,000. Socrates, if a kingdom arose on earth beyond anywhere men might travel, then we would never hear of it. We ought to accept the lesser figure. Okay, there's a bunch here. We can read it another time. Let's check out... Okay, we got the book. Let's go back to Sophia. Oof. Man, that was a struggle. These old point-and-click games, man, they are kind of a crapshoot sometimes. There is an internal logic here and there, but it can be really hard to figure out. Can I go there? I got it. I found Plato's lost dialogue. Really? Our jungle friend Sternhardt is quite the scholar. Let me see. Okay, now. So Glorious Atlantis founded two colonies, the lesser 260 miles north of the city and the greater 470 miles to the south. So they're somewhere around... 730 miles difference. Gates of the kingdom opened only with the aid of special stones. At many outposts, a sunstone sufficed if darkness concealed the tall horns. If darkness concealed the tall horns. At the greater colony, a moonstone was also needed, with the sun dying as a new moon is born. To approach Atlantis itself, a world stone was required as well, with darkest night soon to rule the western sea. Final entrance yielded only to contrary minds. Only to contrary minds. So like reverse psychology. And it is said that dwellers in Atlantis had no horses nor any need of them. Orichalcum, the metal that glittered like fire, this they had instead. They cast it into shiny beads and used them as we do minted coins, paying statues to do their works as if by magic. So it's like robots being powered by this oracalcum. When their colonies were failing, wise men carved strange devices out of amber to search for the metal, but only proud Atlantis ever yielded a supply. Socrates, you have called the kingdom wealthy, but surely this is absurd. As the waters rose around their city, the kings of Atlantis, one after another, fought or sought to hold off fate. Knowing mortal men would never rule the sea, they planned a huge colossus, which by use of orichalcum, ten beads at a time, would make them like the gods themselves. Nurab Sal was one such king. He it was, say the wise men of Egypt, who first put men in the colossus, making many freaks of nature at times when the celestial spheres were well aligned. This I doubt. We are hearing a child's tale. Yeah, that's what it sounds to me. But I do vaguely I remember this there's this uh, turning humans into monsters kind of thing. Hmm. 
Didn't you notice Plato's tenfold numbering error? So he got his dates mixed up. Why is that so important? Plato's error means distances could also be wrong. So what if they are? If Plato is right, Atlantis is in the Mediterranean. You mean 300 miles from Greece instead of 3,000? Yeah, because 30,000 is kind of ridiculous. That's basically more than... That might be almost all the way around the Earth. I think the Earth might only be something like 30-something thousand in uh, circumference. I don't remember off the top of my head. Well, let's see. It takes a light one second to go around the Earth eight times, I think. Uh, I, that's a metric that I've heard. Uh, one second light can travel three times ten to the eighth meters. You divide that by eight, you get roughly four... Well, let's see. Three times ten to the eighth meters is 300 million meters, which is 300,000 kilometers. You divide that by eight, you get about 40,000, a little less kilometers, which is, or, yeah, around 30,000 miles. Okay, so it's in the, that's around the order of magnitude, around 30,000 miles for circumference. Cradles of civilization. Yes, the cradle of civilization. You could be right. It could be he fake as well. Me he came from the middle of the world. That's what Mediterranean means. Hmm, that is true. Good old Nurab Sal. I'm starting to like him. <laughs> Wait, quiet. I think I'm getting something. You know, though, with uh, AI technology, we should be able to get actual Harrison Ford sound alike much better than this actor, who isn't awful, but, you know, you can clearly tell it's not Harrison Ford. You could, and somebody could essentially make a redub of this game and, you know, any Indiana Jones game that actually sounds like Harrison Ford speaking. That's going to be a trip. So, Mr. Sal. So, Mr. Sal, what's the secret? Be patient, he's lost. But I think I know how to guide him home. Among the artifacts that Kerner stole was a small stone disc with a hole in it. Stone I'm disc sure with a hole it was in one it. of the three stones mentioned in Plato's book. And I didn't find it. I bought it from Omar al-Jabbar in Algiers. Omar al-Jabbar. Haven't we talked to enough of these nutcases? Or was it Alain Cartier in Monte Carlo? Either way, Algiers or Monte Carlo. All this right. much I do know. We have two other... You'll need all three stones. Yeah, we need... If you want the to book mentioned Atlantis. needing three stones. How will I find Trottier and Al-Jabbar? Not so fast. First, I'm going to tell your fortune. Look into my eyes. <laughs> Deep right. into my eyes. For Pete's sake, I'm not going to hurt you. Now hold still. You are a remarkable man, Dr. Jones. You possess great strength of character. You are resourceful. Always eager to solve life's deepest puzzles. I could never follow the thoughts of your maze-like mind. So I can't follow you along the twisting path that leads to Atlantis. Hmm, are we splitting up? So, yeah, this is uh, a place where it's, it's, I believe it, uh, you have these choices to diverge. So, how about this? This is uh, probably a good spot to save. Next time, we'll choose, actually, how about this? Split. Three. Yeah. And next time we can pick it where this left off and choose one. Because I know there's multiple routes. They all end up in the same place, I believe. But there's yeah multiple ways to get there. 
I don't know if it affects the ending. I know there's multiple endings. There's at least one bad ending, but there is a good ending too that requires a hell of a lot of work to get, like a lot of quizzes, right? Weird answers. But anyway, I'll end that there. That was uh, more fun than I expected, not gonna lie. I was played for almost three hours and it was actually kind of fun the whole time, even though I got stopped multiple times. The pacing is much better than I remembered. I remember it being a slog, because when I was a kid, it was... We didn't... Well, first of all, it was the first time playing, so I didn't know. But that said, it's been so long that I don't remember the puzzles anyway. But uh, with the kid brain, I just wasn't as smart, I guess. When they're well designed, yeah, when they are well designed, which is a big when. It, they're not always well designed, they often aren't. And the uh, internal logic of the puzzles can be very bizarre sometimes. This one so far, it tends to make sense, but I've uh, the part I find most frustrating is that I can't tell what I can interact with and what I can't. And so I end up having to move the mouse all over the place just to figure things out. But yeah, tomorrow I'll actually probably get to Genshin, but because we got the Abyss reset, it's a new month, which also means we'll get new polls and all that. But I do want to get back to this maybe Sunday, maybe next week, we'll see. This isn't a terribly long game, I imagine it can be beaten in like 12 hours if you know what you're doing. But I don't know what I'm doing, so it'll probably take longer. We'll see. But that's gonna be it for now, happy Friday! Hope you have a great start to the weekend. Thank you so much for coming by, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye! Okay, it works.